Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today I'm bringing you Cheesy Crab Dip. Yes, this is awesome, and you can serve it for your July 4th get-together, or any get-together would work fine. So, let me show you how to throw together this super easy crab dip. That all you do is mix the ingredients together, throw it in the oven, and then serve it with some little toasted baguette rounds or some crackers, whatever you want, and you're good to go. Now, in this bowl, I have a half a cup of mayo. Now, actually, the full recipe is one cup of mayo, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you the full recipe. I am making a half recipe because it's just me. So, if what you see in the bowl is not matching up with what I'm telling you, it's only because I'm doing half. So, one cup of mayo, eight ounces of softened cream cheese, two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning, A half teaspoon of ground mustard. And a couple dashes of hot sauce. Now, I am out of hot sauce, so I'm just going to put a little squirt of sriracha. Now, go ahead and mix all of that together. Make sure that the cream cheese is at room temperature or softened because it'll be a lot easier to get everything mixed. Okay, I'm going to throw in just a little... Sprinkling of cheese. Most of the cheese goes on top. This is just a little bit just for flavor. Now you could use cheddar, Parmesan, whatever you prefer. Okay, where is my crab meat? And you will need 16 ounces or one pound of crab meat. And you can use whatever crab meat is that you want. You can use Dungeness, blue crab, um, Alaskan crab legs that you've gotten and that you've taken out of the um, shell. Or you could use canned crab meat. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you use whatever it is you want to use. I've used um, canned because... The store um, didn't really have anything, and I didn't want to go to another store. Okay, now just kind of fold that in. And you should already have your oven 
preheating at 350 degrees because once we throw this into a casserole dish we're going to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes everybody's oven is different so make sure you keep an eye on it okay I think we're good okay now I'm wondering if I'm gonna split this up into two dishes so that I can have an individual serving I think that's what I'm gonna do I have these little baby casserole dishes they're called au gratin they're called au gratin dishes let me get my other one out Sorry about that, guys. My camera shut off again. So, let's hurry. Cheese and breadcrumbs on top. And then in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Mine might take less because my containers are smaller. Okay? So, in the oven... And I'll be back when they're done. Okay, guys. Just took them out of the oven. And as you can see, they are piping hot. So, I'm going to let these babies cool probably for a good 10 to 15 minutes because I do not want to burn my mouth. And then I will go ahead and pull out some crackers and we will go ahead and give this crab dip a taste. So I will be back in a few. Okay guys, I think it's cooled down enough for me to try it. So Let's go in. It looks yummy. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mmm. But, of course, I love crab and I love cheese. So, I knew I was going to like this. Okay, guys. It's about to pour down rain here. So, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that bell. And that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses. See you next time.